When we look at cornfields across the country, everybody's looking above ground, but I think below ground tells even more of a story. We're gonna talk about improving corn root growth, and I just wanna start out by saying this, Brian. If your corn fell over this year, don't blame the seed corn company. Now there are some differences, variety to variety sure. in terms of root growth, stalk strength, all those things, but more times than not, it's a problem that's happening below ground in your soils rather than something wrong with the hybrid. Okay, so let's look at the, all the possible things it could be. So let's say you had disease there. What else can you do? Well, you can certainly use seed treatment. You can certainly put more fungicide right in the furrow. Exactly. We've had a really good response on our farm using some headline in furrow, and there are other products that could be used to. If it's rootworm problem, then what? Well, I had a rootworm problem last year on one of my fields, and what I did is instead of... Wait, did you have BT corn? I had corn? I had a single trait rootworm product, yep. and I used some insecticide. How this much? year, I used a full rate of insecticide, <laughs> yeah, and I used Smart Stacks corn. So now I had multiple traits and insecticide, and I had zero issues, and I virtually saw zero corn rootworm beetles. Okay, let's talk about compaction for just a second. If you've got compaction, we're big believers in zone building, going 20 inches down with a straight shank narrow point that's a good idea also on our farm we do some strip till stuff and when we do that we're going down 10 inches with a shank you might not have given this a lot of thought but we're busting up any compaction all the way down to 10 inches that's a nice start well i think the big thing brian is we're out in the fall bring a shovel with you bring a tile spade along and everywhere you go when you're walking through fields just put the shovel in the ground and stand on it and just see if it goes down if it goes down with no problem hey, we don't have a big compaction issue in that spot. Now go in your wheel tracks, see what the difference is. Go on the headlands, see what the difference is. You've got some problem areas out in your field after harvest where the grain cart drove, where the truck sat, where you turned around multiple times during the year. Deal with those issues in those spots. If you've got no compaction out in your fields, you should have no restriction on where okay, your roots when you grow. mentioned the tile thing, drainage is a huge issue. Remember that if your water table is too high, even just early in the spring, you have limited your root growth. You absolutely are not gonna have the deep roots you should to stabilize your plant. You've gotta fix that. And then the biggest issue that we haven't even talked about yet is fertility. You have to have ample fertility and a balance of fertility. Don't forget about things like micronutrients and sulfur that you'd only need to spend a few bucks an acre on. That could be your limiting factor. Otherwise, a lot of stock problem, a lot of root problem comes back to lack of potassium that's available in your soil, not just in the form of rock, but that's available in your soil. If you're having these issues, address all these things that we talked about and make sure you're looking to figure it out. Don't just say, well, it's the seed problem. I'll just do the same thing I did next year and it'll probably be better. It's not going to get better better unless you make some changes. Well, a good place to start on the fertility side is downloading the free Ag PhD fertilizer removal app. You can find that for your smartphone or for your iPad. Start there. See what kind of crop you raise. See what nutrients it takes to do so. Chances are when you look at what the grain and the stover needs, you're probably not getting enough fertilizer out there available. The other thing is Take a look at some of the biological products in the market. We've been using quick roots and some other biologicals on our farm and seeing a really nice response in terms of better root growth, more nutrient uptake, and better yields. The other big thing if you want better yields is having great weed control. We'll tell you how to stop our Weed of the Week coming up next.